playing sport can be a real challenge for people with disabilities. And if you're not one of the elite Paralympians, community support can be hard to come by. But a group of disabled rugby league fans has formed their own competition and just recently they played in front of a very big crowd. It's going to be difficult to avoid dressing shed sledging in the match between the Outlaws and the Stingrays. There's only one dressing shed. Nobody does want to mess with these big guns, trust me. None of those boys over there. The two sides are foundation clubs of a competition whose players are unified by two elements, a love of rugby league and a physical disability. Being league, there's contact. And operations boss Dave Smith says there'd be blow-ups if there wasn't. And this is their outlet where they can actually have a bit of contact, a bit of get, get out there and mix it up and knock each other around. And they do, they do. You know, we so just... like a dog off the leash in the park, yeah, mate. Yeah, well, that's a good... Yeah, actually, yeah, they are, yeah. They, they, they rip in. Patricia Aspinati is cheering on son Michael, number 13, for the Stingrays. He's very, very strong on his right side. So as you can see, he's got the ball at the moment. So everything's on his right side. So he tends to lean to the right side. So he works yes. around it. Yes, he certainly does. Brian Yates has come over from Geraldton to watch Sun Steve with the Stingrays. I'm leaving home, I'm going down to the Olympics to work. We thought, oh Jesus, you know. <laughs> he came down, got a job, had a ball. Sounds like he's got a bit ticker, mate. Oh, he's a goer. There are a few considerations rules-wise, such as the red shorts, which mean no tackle. A point ten-year-old Bailey Warren uses to his advantage. You alright with the big fellas? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Just little steps. Little steps? Yeah, two. So you're a bit of a jink master, are you? Bit of a zip-zip man? Yeah. We don't like being wrapped up in cotton wool and we will get out there and we will fight and we will um, play like real rugby league players. We really do like to tackle and play hard. Beautiful, that's good news for our spectators <laughs> then, mate. <laughs> Today is a big game and a big day. The Outlaws and Stingrays are playing at the half-time break between the Sea Eagles and the Raiders at Fortress Brookie. An NRL crowd of over 15,000 will watch. Now the Outlaws are in black here, and the Stingrays in blue. The last word post-match goes to the man who's wrestled cerebral palsy for 38 years, who conceived the New South Wales PDRL and who plays second row for the Outlaws, George Tonner. Felt good, I think we uh, played uh, well as a team, both teams, and uh, I think the crowd uh, accepted us for who we are. And as the footy cliche goes, Rugby League was the winner on the day. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Mike Dalton reporting there.